Uh, Robert has called from Dulwich. Hi, Robert. Hi, Sheila. Um, uh, do you know, my wife loves Megan, and I think she's terrible. And I'm I'm half Caribbean, and my wife is English, if you like, or, or indigenously English, whatever the correct term is these days. And we have these debates about it. And I, I just said to her, I said to her, look, you you can't agree that it's the right way to handle a family dispute out in public. You know, it just never works. You just don't wash your laundry in public like they're doing. That's, that's number one. And number Charles, two... Charles did it. Diana did it. Andrew did it. No, but not on this scale. No well, one went out and made on, documentaries. You, hang on, hang on, hang on. And, and that was an on easy the, Not on this scale. Not on this scale. No, nothing, Prince Charles no, talked about his affair with Camilla. He talked about his marriage to Diana. He spoke to one of the most prominent broadcasters in Britain when he did. The documentary yeah. went worldwide. It was accompanied but, by but, a book. But, but to be fair, Sheila, that was after years and years. And it was after... Um, it became clear that the marriage had broken down, and then what, we started to learn a lot the documentary? about it. What was the documentary? This, yeah, look, this whole thing has happened really very, very quickly. I mean, within two years of getting the cottage, it was over. They, they, she was, they were gone, and and I just think that too much of it was conducted and in and in the in the you you don't have an argument. In the street, it just you don't ever get a solution that way. And and my second point is, especially when you're dealing with a family, the royal family, the mm. firm, as it were, where you know they can't come back at you. But what if you felt, and we don't know how it feels to be in this, but what if you felt that you were being told to be quiet, play the game, keep your head down, and things just got worse and worse for you, and your wife then tells you she wants to kill herself and she I can't cope you, you anymore? Have to take a, you you must. Look, I've got three children, and one thing that we're really trying to imbue into our children is that they are, when when we're gone, right, they're the ones who will be there for each other, always. And that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to teach them, to love each other, right? There's loads of brothers and sisters who don't get on, because I believe parents don't take the time to actually fill that into them, right? And I think that when, you, when I hear, heard Harry moaning about his brother shouting at him, I was like, what brother doesn't shout at another brother? But what are you doing saying this on a Netflix documentary, mate? Okay, it okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert. Um, <clears throat> as luck would have it, um, or as timing would have it, we have a statement from uh, Buckingham Palace. 